This is Amanda with Music Game Club and I have another variation that you can use with compound cones. Here is the game board. We will not need it for this one, but if you're playing regularly and your students like to have a place to put their cones, this is what you can use. But always, you can use the success poster to celebrate when your students have finished the game. For this variation, I will use the simpler cards. These do not have any special markings, but remember that there are upper level cards that have a little cherry to show you that these are harder rhythms. These rhythms are all the 7-8 meters as well as any 12-8, 9-8, and 6-8 meters that have a little bit more complex rhythms with 8th notes and 8th rests. For the sake of this game though, I am doing the easiest cards and this will be a great way to introduce your students to compound rhythms. They are not actually building cones in this one, unless they are creative and they want to, but if they are building cones, they're building them differently. What you do for this one is you're going to flip up a card have your student count out this card. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and they will match a spoon to that card. Flip up another card. One, two, three, four, five, six. They will match a spoon to the card. And if you want to stack them to keep them all in the same place, you can. Here's another one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you can see this is a very easy, we're not building things, we're not combining rhythms, we are just helping the student learn how to identify the meter on the card. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can set a timer for one minute, three minutes, five minutes, see how many cards your students can match with their spoons and the amount of time that you've given them. This is probably the first gameplay I would do with my students for compound cones because it's easy. And then we can discuss like, okay, well, remember a dotted quarter note in compound rhythm gets three beats and a dotted half note gets six beats. And so then you're going one at a time. And then from this gameplay, I would, I would take the student into building cones afterwards. So once they've done this, then if they want to build, oh, let's build a 12-8 cone out of all the 12-8s we found, and let's build a 6-8, and let's build a 9-8, then you can do that as the next step. Okay, now they've built all their cones. So now, just for the fun of it, you're like, okay, let's mix and match. We need a top and a middle and a bottom. Okay, so there are our top, middle, bottom of 12, 8, and then we can clap and count them, and then we do the same with 9, 8, and the same with 6, 8. So this is a way that kind of progressively helps the student understand compound meters and finding out how many beats are in each measure and identifying them. If you take pictures of you and your students playing compound cones and share it on social media, feel free to tag us at Music Game Club on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. We hope you all have fun.